fresh, spicy. Friends, this is one Thai noodle salad you need to know about. It's not traditional, but it's my version of a Thai style salmon noodle salad. All right guys, so this is like a bit of a mashup of a Thai lap salad and a Thai yum wun sen, which is another type of noodle salad. Let's start off with the noodles first of all. So I'm using these ones here. These are um, cellophane noodles, also known as glass noodles. In Thailand, we call them wun sen, uh, which is where you get the uh, yum wun sen name from. But these ones just take a little bit of extra preparing because they can get really soggy and sticky and be quite um, quite the disaster. So the way we do it, or the way my mum told me I have to do it, you know, I have to do what my mum says, but the way to do it is soak them in room temperature water first. So just get them in there, like about five minutes, that's all you need. In the meantime, I am gonna make um, some dressing. So we're taking like a classic Thai larp dressing. Uh, and to do that, to make the classic version of that, uh, you wanna start off with some Thai sticky rice or glutinous rice. I'm gonna toast it first of all. This guy, just have a look online. So it's what it is, it's a rice that is, it's not sushi rice, it's not jasmine rice. It is a, a different kind of rice that you make sticky rice out of, if you've ever had that in Asia. But it's very soft. And I gotta say, this is the ingredient where if you've had a, a classic lab salad in a restaurant or in Thailand, and you go to make it at home and it's not quite been right, it's probably because you didn't do this rice situation. So what we wanna do here is get this rice really nice and toasty. And when you can kind of smell, it's almost like a popcorn toasty kind of smell. Um, and you can see that these grains are really lovely and golden brown. Now we want to grind them up. So this is the kind of situation you're after here. This is a really lovely, toasty, nutty kind of powder that's going to do two things, give us a lovely flavor, but also thicken up the dressing and really get it like clinging to all the salad ingredients a little bit later on. And now you can add the rest of the dressing ingredients. Now we need some palm sugar. So palm sugar is really common in Thailand. It's often the sugar that we use for dressings or curry paste. If you can't get palm sugar where you are, you can use a mix of white sugar and brown sugar. It kind of gives you that molasses-y kind of flavor without being too strong. Now, some fish sauce. Some lime juice. and some chili powder. Now, this dressing is typically really fiery, like super on fire, spicy. Uh, if you wanna turn it down, you certainly can. But I'm gonna add in quite a bit of chili powder here. This is the Thai chili powder, so you kinda of get a combo of flakes and uh, chili powder if you like. Mm, yes, spicy, tangy, just a little sweet, um, but more on the tangy and spicy side. Mm, that's great. Okay, so the rest of what we're doing now is I'm gonna use some salmon for this salad. Totally not traditional, but I really love using salmon in the salad, so I'm gonna do that. What you need to do is just heat up a pan, add some oil. Now you wanna season your salmon fillets here with a little salt. You know, whenever I'm cooking, I'm always thinking about how I can lay the flavoring and the seasoning so that you're not just kind of, uh, you know, trying to catch up at the end. You should be trying to get as much flavor into everything. And in goes my salmon. A little more salt on the other side. Now I'm gonna give these guys like about three, four minutes each side. I like my salmon to be slightly um, just kind of translucent pink through the middle, blush pink, not quite um, cooked all the way through, uh, just because that's my preference, but you can do whatever you like. All right, so my salmon is looking pretty good here. It's still really nice and soft and juicy there, so I'm gonna take that off. Let's pop that onto a plate. You wanna let that cool down until it's, you know, just warm but cool enough for you to handle without burning your fingers. And so let's come back and have a look at our noodles. Now, this was just room temperature water and you can see that those glass noodles have really softened up um, just from sitting there for those few minutes. 
So they really now only need literally just like a little dunking in some boiling water. They don't need to be cooked for too long or as I said, they'll be all soggy and sticky. So into some boiling water. And now just quick little bath and then we're out. And if you've ever had trouble with your glass noodles or cellophane noodles, it's probably because they were cooked too long. Okay, so my other tip with these noodles is that they're quite long, so when you're mixing them in a salad, it can get a little bit awkward. Um, so I like to give these a little chop with some scissors. Now my Asian mum would say that's really bad luck uh, to chop your noodles, but whatever, we'll uh, deal with the bad luck as it comes. Uh, all right, so just another few things here. I want some uh, shallots in there as well. Now I like to put those on top of the warm noodles because it kind of cooks them through just a little bit. Uh, just takes that raw edge off them. Now I'm going to flake my salmon on top. I kind of want to keep it in large-ish chunks. I don't want it to disintegrate too much. Mm, just have a look, just that lovely little translucent through the middle so it's still nice and juicy. Mm. Nobody saw that. <laughs> oh, so good. Now we want to go in with our fresh herbs. I want some coriander, some spring onion. And a whole lot of mint as well. The mint leaves I like to keep whole and quite chunky. And for me, the mint here really is the star of the show. I mean, you could take or leave the coriander and spring onion, really. Um, but a true lab salad, um, you know, that style of Thai salad always has a load of fresh mint. Now time to add the dressing. Just a really liberal amount of that dressing. It's kind of like the noodles will soak it all up and so will that salmon. See how lovely those noodles are? Like they're not sticking together at all. They're really nice and separate, um, not a gluggy mess at all. Oh, I really love this smell. It just says Bangkok, Thailand, my mum's kitchen to me. It's just all those wonderful things. Okay, let me just see how we're going here. That was pretty good. I'm gonna pop this out onto a plate. A little final drizzle of dressing extra fresh herbs here. Maybe one final little extra sprinkle of chili here. Oof, that looks fiery. Okay, so there you go my friends. That is a Thai style salmon noodle salad. Totally not what my mum would make, but totally what I'm into eating right now because it smells amazing. Not traditional, but amazing. Okay, you want some salmon, you want some herbs here. Mm, it smells so fresh. You know what's so magical about this kind of salad? Is that you're taking so many big flavors like fish sauce and sugar and lime and herbs and all these punchy things and creating something so beautiful and so harmonious and ridiculously delicious. Ugh, I love that. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.